Hi, now I am going to discuss about the skill of stimulus variation and its components. Skill of explanation. A teacher is said to be explaining when he is describing how, why and sometimes what are the concept, phenomena, even actions or conditions. It can be described as an activity to bring about an understanding in the learning about the concept, principles, etc. Why? Explaining the teachers gives causes for some phenomena, event or action. Reasons for some phenomena, event or action. Steps involved in arriving at the results are various events that have resulted in phenomena. Explaining bridges the gap in understanding the new knowledge by relating it to be past experiences. Thus, explaining depends upon the type of the past experience the type of new knowledge and the type of relationship between them. Explanation can be made more effective by using simple and clear language for clarity, examples and illustration material for better understanding and appropriate link words for relating the concept. Now, I am going to concentrate on components and description of the skill of explanation. The first component, beginning statement. It is used to, for gaining attention or arousing interest. The teacher saying the words like, today we are going to derive or today we are going to discuss or today we are going to describe the concept. That component number two, clarity. The description of the clarity components are, state the concept clearly, define new terms and concept, use simple language, maintain logical sequence, use suitable examples and illustration. Voice modulation and emphasize. Develop the explanation from known to unknown, simple to complex. Then third component, fluency. The description of the fluency components are use simple language, easy flow of ideas, use of appropriate vocabulary. Then fourth component, use of link words. The description of the use of link words components are use link words and phrases like Therefore, similarly, that is, why, because, in order to, hence, etc. Then, fifth components, planned repetition. The description of the planned repetition components are provide summarize to focus attention, deliberately repeat some important concepts or points. Then, sixth components, stimulating questioning. The description of the stimulating questioning components are Check the understanding by questioning, stimulate and channelize the students thinking by thought-provoking questions like how and why type. Then last components, concluding st statement. The description of the concluding statement components are consolidate ideas by summarizing, conclude the explanation by the statement like thus we have to prove or uh, so we have to discuss or uh, so for we discuss and so on. In micro teaching, the complex task of teaching is looked upon as a set of similar skills comprising specific classroom behavior. This helps the teacher trainee in better understanding of the meaning and concept of the term teaching. The explaining skill bridges the gap in understanding the new knowledge by relating it to be the past experience. Thus, explaining depends upon the type of the past experience the type of new knowledge and the type of relationship between them. I hope that all of us to understand the concept of skill of explaining.